Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create multiple measures all at once in Power BI. So generally, when we create multiple measures in Power BI, we'll have to create it one by one. But in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create in bulk. So let's start the video. As you can see on my screen, I have opened a Power BI report named Superstore Analysis Dashboard. In this dashboard, I have a table for all measures where we have created the different number of measures. Now, suppose if we want to create, say, 10 or more number of measures. So in that case, we'll have to create it one by one. But I will show you how we can create it uh, all at once in bulk. So recently, Power BI has released a feature, uh, Timdal view, as you can see here. Below this DAX query view, we can see this Timdal view. So in this view, it's basically a script editor and it can give you access to all the script for all the objects like table, column, measure, model, relationship, perspectives and many other things. So let's go to Timdal view. So now if I pull this all measure into this, it's showing the script for the table. So it's showing create or replace table all measure and measure total profit for all the measures. It's showing one by one the properties and definition. So if you see, uh, for example, this total profit, it's showing this expression which is being used for this measure and then the display folder and other things. So now I want to create uh, different measures. So um, what I will do is I will add measure here. So to add the measures, we can directly write measure and let's say write demo one and let's say one now i will copy this and again let's say i will say demo two demo three and similarly i will copy three more measures and three more measures so this will be four five six seven eight nine so i have created nine measures so here i've just added one uh, to create a random measure and if you want to add any expression you can add it and change the name accordingly so now uh, you can see here uh, we don't see these measures demo measures in this uh, data pane so to see this in the data pane we'll have to click on apply here so once we click on apply it will be applied to this model so let's click on apply and see what happens it says changes applied to the model within seconds so within seconds it has created all the 10 measures so earlier if we had to create these 10 measures we'll have to create it one by one and in case your data model was heavy in that case it will load again and again and it will delay the process of adding the measures now what we can do is we can first write all the measures which we want and then next we can uh, just click on apply and it will load for once so instead of loading for 10 times it will load for once and it will load all the measures and also this works faster so this is how we can add multiple measures in bulk in Temple view so i hope you like the video and you have got some information from this video so if you like this video do not forget to subscribe my channel till then goodbye and thanks for watching